Oh, I had just loaded into a save to test our sound. Here we go. Okay, so little mini recap on what happened last time. We were approached by the creepy vampire lady who was like, oh, I can offer you a better deal than the shadow thieves. Like, come with me, kids. And we were like, mm, no. We're playing, for those of you who are new, we're playing like a good team, like a good alignment, like neutral to good aligned team party thing. So yeah, we're not down with the like creepy vampire lady, but also the shadow thieves are kind of sketchy too. So we can't really win, but she seemed to like, be interested in Irenicus, which like we're not down with that. We're just like, no, 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 we're getting Imowen and we're getting out of there. Like, we don't want any, we just want to like get rid of Iren Irenicus and like, we don't want to deal with him at all. And it seemed like she wanted to like deal with Irenicus or something. So we were very much not into that. So we refused her. And so now we need to go back to the slums and pay the Galen guy, the Shadow Thief guy, to help us find Imowen. So that's where we're at right now. Your save name was Start Here. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, I love our party. Ah, yes, the city. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes? Yes. Yes. What but yeah, it? I love, I love, love, love our party. It's so nice to be in, an, in like, to be a bit higher level. It was, it was a little rough starting at, like, level one in Baldur's Game 1, but it was a good character building experience, you know? Bodhi, yes, thank you. You might not have D&D &D again tonight because the DM is bleeding? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I hope they're okay. Patron was literally, Papa, oh, so horrified. Oh gosh. <laughs> Shadow thieves aren't the nicest people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the whole eating people thing. Amira's not down with that. <laughs> Either thieves are totally not vampires. <laughs> There's no actually good option. Classic Bioware. Uh, wait, this game is your jam. I love it. Yay. Capone gives the good suck. <laughs> Bim bam, how are you doing? Welcome. Oh my gosh, your DM had a leak in his ceiling. Also had to cancel. I'm sorry, LH. Oh, okay. Can we just get some good vibes going out there for the DMs? They seem to be having a rough day. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, it's either they steal your money or your blood. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chad. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. How do we get out of here? Here. It will be done. Oh, also, friendly reminder: this is a spoiler-free first playthrough, so. Just as a reminder, if any of y'all feel the need, feel free to drop these commands in chat whenever you see any spoilery Sorry. talk. I would very much appreciate that. Uh, but yes, I'm trying my best to go through this with as clean of a slate as possible. And yes, so I'm trying to avoid spoilers and any sort of like information that might change how I play the game. So yeah, any any kind of information um, or spoilers or uh, foreshadowing in any way or suggestions, please, please, please try your best um, to avoid those and encourage, uh, encourage new friends Sweet. to avoid these behaviors. I appreciate you all so much. I want to keep it as fresh an experience as possible for those of you who haven't played it either. So yeah. Thank you. Just Without wanted to doubt. give that general reminder. The Shadow Thieves get into way worse than the tape that in the tabletop setting. Ooh, spicy. Spoiler free. I have played BG1. Hi Data, how are you doing? The game turns 20. Oh. Yeah, BG1 was 98, and this one was what? Was this, wait, was this 2002? Could party build for any situation. I could click the real character button literally three to four times a second and stop on whatever one I wanted. That is so cool, Dabby. 2002. You don't like it? It hijacks your brain? Okay, so maybe not so cool. Or one. 2000? Oh, so it's 21 years old already? 
Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we should actually explore these other, these three new places we haven't explored yet. No, let's go, let's go pay the monies first. Oh no! Waylaid! Ari, I'm gonna need you to back up. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Nature's servant awaits. What is it now? You shall Oh no! Yes. I shall go forth at your command. Yeah, we got the mage. Or the spellcaster, I should say. Oh, did we charm this person? What is it? What's, what is going on? Get this guy. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Oops. Oops. Um, I think we already have those two. I don't really want extra scrolls. Don't at me. <laughs> I don't like extra scrolls. Slums! Our favorite destination! Without hesitation. Why do we always come here during the night? I feel like we're always here in the in the dead of the night. And it's very spooky. <laughs> Hello, a melted igloo! How are you? Galen, that's who we want. Oh my gosh, the yelling really gets me. So many side quests, I know. <laughs> uh, we are a fighter. Oh, I'm so tired. <gasps> Save me, please. Wait, what? <gasps> oh heck no. Oh, I'm so tired. What's this I see? You ain't seeing nothing. A sack of coin is handed to the guard. <gasps> Right then, move along, citizens. Much obliged, soldier. What? Are you not going to uphold the law? I see no wrongdoing here. As I said, move along. No, you cannot do this! Quiet, or you'll be squished, bug. You, you there, by helm, please help me! I said quiet. <laughs> Minsk, oh, Minsk is going for it. I will not stand and watch men carting slaves. They shall feel my blade and boot and backhand as well. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You point. I yes. Okay, wait. Who are we trying to attack here? We're at. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes! Oh! Feel the backhand of justice! Wow, that was easy. The blessing of Helm upon you. Thank you for saving me from the life of a slave. Oh, wow! We did it! This will not take long. <sighs> That's really what I wanted to do in Kotor last night. Gonna be right back. Sounds good, Bula, no worries! Yes, the current edition was the second edition, yes. Oh, it was on its way out. That's right. <sighs> yeah, we have them to eat. Yeah, I, I saw that there are so many more classes and I was like, oh, I'm so what sad that I was just a fighter. See. But yeah, I'm I'm so excited to play through these games again. And I didn't even know you could be a bard. That's so cool. If it must be done. I also want to try a druid at some point. I think that would be cool. Hi, White Star and Lego. <gasps> welcome, welcome. I know I can sell them, it just, yeah. I don't really feel like picking everything up. Oh my god, the yelling! Ah! <laughs> the yelling in the background is so funny. Minsk, my beloved. Minsk is the best. Hi, crazy bald man, welcome, how are you? Doing well, how are you? They're def the infin- wait, there are infinity engine game called Icewind Dale- Oh yes! I've heard of this! I've heard of this game and I've heard it's great. 
Hey, dude, we want to pay you. I'll be a to you if I can. Cool! You be already above 15,000 and need go no further. My masters change their hearts, and they'll accept 15,000 alone. That's a competitive raid, I think. Yes, here you go. Very good. Just so you be knowing, you be going to the Shadow Master, Aaron Linvale. Oh, that's it. Okay, the rest is not voiced over. Step carefully, milady. The Shadow Master does not suffer fools gladly. <gasps> Your journal has been updated. Oh my gosh! Wait, I'm sorry. We gained 45,000 quest experience points? To find Irenicus and Imowen, I must enlist the help of Galen Bale's allies, but first... Okay, we know that. Wait. We already knew that. Here, a key to the Shadow Master. Find the secret door on the first level of the Shadow Thieves Guild to the in the docks, an orange brick building west of the area entrance. Okay, secret door, first level. Got it. Remember, it's northwest in the docks district, and unlike as unlikely as it seems, the Shadow Thieves will prove to be the least of all evils you will encounter. I can hold no more. That item has been dropped. Oh no, we dropped a quest item. Ah, yes. Aaron Linvale, the real power behind the Shadow Thieves in this city, and therefore one of the most powerful men in Faerun. We should step carefully, Amira. The party has gained an item. Shadow Thief Cellar Key. Inventory full. Item dropped on ground. Shadow Thieves? Perhaps we shall finally get answers as to their interest in us. Or oh, thieves! Am I to be steeped in such unpious activity through my throughout my association with you, Amira? I certainly hope not. As this is all beginning to wear on my patience. Oh, get over yourself, Anomen. Oh no, we dropped it! Allies are expensive in the city of coin, but you are certain you have made a wise investment. Oh! Through Galen Bale, you have purchased the aid of Aaron Linvale, Shadow Master of Athcantla. As ominous as that may sound, <laughs> you have little other choice. Yeah. Thanks. Already, you have felt the influence of those working against your search for Irenicus. That's it? Okay. <gasps> cutscene! Cutscene! She's a cute one, isn't she? I do believe I'll have to practice some <gasps> spells on that one. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Hold. What was that sound? You too! The new prisoner! He's escaped! What? When? Where is he? He's in the lower... Gods, no! He comes! He's here! I cannot be carried. Oh! I cannot be controlled. Oh my god. Understand this as you die, ever pathetic, ever fool. Okay, he's pretty dope. <gasps> Hello, little one. You and I have a great deal to do. What are you planning? Not to worry. Nothing worse than what I shall do to your friend. What? No! Oh! What is it called what again? It? Dramatic irony? When, like, the reader Certainly. or viewer knows more than the characters do? <laughs> I can hold no more. That item has been dropped. Okay, swords, someone else pick it up. Words. Whoa, y'all! Yes, it's like tile mosaics! Yes, so cool! Okay, what did I miss? I think I missed a lot. You're back! Your cats are wreaking havoc! Almost lost another roll of paper towel! Oh, good job! You saved the paper towel roll! I'm proud of you, Bula. Certain classes being human only. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, what's with that? Planescape Torment is on this engine, too, but I don't think it's good for streaming. Oh. You have your Event Horizon beer in hand. Cheers! I've got the same as last night. It's a six-pack that I got. Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. It's very smooth. If if y'all like, like, kind of like smoother beers but want to try an IPA, this might be a good, like, starter IPA, I would say. It's good. Doing great, Sammy. How are you? <laughs> Who 
Yo, what else did I miss? The guy who voices Animan was... P Wait, Pinky from Pinky and the Brain? Oh. Chapter three, we did. We picked a side. We picked a side. Wait, no. Saravak is Cleveland on Family Guy. I can't allow. What? No way. That is wild. Oh my goodness. I'm really reeling from that right now. Okay, wow. That's news. Great concept for a game, but it's really an unfinished product. Okay, I missed. I missed what you're talking about. Planescape. Okay, not no, not too much talk about Irenicus though. I don't want to know about him because I don't. I don't know anything about him. Spoilers. No spoilers. But I love, I really am excited to talk about all of these things when I know more about the game. I'm, I'm really excited. And I appreciate all of y'all's enthusiasm for everything. Oops. This music is different. I like it. Okay, it seems like two weapon style. Wait. Minsk has two weapons style? Then why does he have two-handed sword? I don't get that. Use two melee weapons at the same time. So maybe I should be giving him like double mace? <laughs> like what? Or maybe I should give him a point on long sword and then have him dual wield. Because he can't dual wield a two-handed sword. But Minsk, what are you doing? Yes, he took him in, exactly. It is not very nice. I agree. We don't like him. Took it to leave in the tutorial dungeon to even learn his name. Yeah, exactly. Rangers get it for free, two points. Ah. Oh. Minsk is a ranger, so they get two pips in into two weapon fighting. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. I see. I did not realize that. That's so interesting. <sighs> so maybe I should be giving well, him a... Well, hmm. what have we here? Welcome, welcome to the tavern, new tavern member. Feel free to make yourself comfortable, lurk or chat, whatever. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like since he already has two points in two weapon style, I kind of want to give him. I don't know. He go. Oh, he can't go any further in mace. Like, I kind of want to give him another one and then have him do maces. Like that feels like just the easiest thing to do based on the points that he already has. Otherwise, I would have to just totally like respec him, which doesn't. Doesn't make too much sense. Okay, Airy, what should we do with you? She could use a club <laughs> or a warhammer. No, she's never gonna use those. Do not wish to use a shield, but want some bonus when using a one-handed melee weapon. Oh, these are all melee weapon. It's a little bit sad that there aren't any like ranged, like I couldn't make her any better at using a sling. It's just, that's it. Sad. Mm, melee. Yeah, these are all melee. Okay. Well, I guess let's give her... Let's do flail. That's fun. I don't really care about melee weapons Please. for her. Direct me as you will. I will never put her in danger. She's my darling area, and we must protect her at all costs. Without doubt. All right, let's get a, a quick room at the Copper Coron at our favorite place. Oh, you know what? I think there's a side quest that we can do here. There was that little, um, there was that little kid ghost 
in the graveyard who wanted their bear or something, like their toy stuffed animal. Um, and they said that the person who had it was in the copper we coronet. I'm guessing probably in the back room, so let's go figure that out. Let's do it! A side quest! It's time! I would <gasps> speak with you. Oh yeah, hex that! I need help. I need help getting... Begging your pardon, ma'am. Hexad is harmless enough, but she can be a little um, uncoordinated. Um, is she alright? Those aren't exactly the words I would use, but I'm afraid she doesn't get much better than this. How so? She's in here every night. I should throw her out, but look at her. It'd be like kicking a sick dog. I don't know, that, that changed from Cockney to Australian real quick. Um, milady, are you alright? Fine. I need to get to... Dragomir's tomb in the the district with the graves. Oh my gosh. Um, I can help you with that. The tomb of Dragomir? You can get me there? Sure. Um, yeah, we can leave right now. Have yourself a good night, ma'am. I've agreed to help Hexat find the tomb of Dragomir. Her behavior and manner of speech are strange, but the possible rewards outweigh the risks. The tomb she seeks should be in the southeast part of the graveyard district. Okay, let's see. Um. Let's. Oh. I mean, the person that I really. that annoys me the most is Anoman. <laughs> but. He also has good priest spells, so I think Yoshima's gonna be gone for it. Oh. Let's remove Yoshima. Let's see what like what skill she has. I do not wish to end our pairing before our tasks are done. Perhaps our rest is in order. You sure you want to go separate paths? Yes, we don't need your services right now, sir Yoshimo. We'll be back soon. Yes, go to the copper coronet. Or stay stay here in the copper coronet. <laughs> Okay, Hexat, who are you? What do you want? A thief! Perfect! Oh, she's evil though. Oh. Oh. Okay, I want her to be like the best at find traps. Oh, it can go above a hundred! I did not realize that. Open locks. I think those are the most important ones to me. At least for now. Whoa, what is this? Hexat's amulet? Hexat refuses to let you examine this amulet closely, but from afar, the worn yet exotic design indicates that it originates from somewhere in Chult. Okay. Okay, what did I miss? Did I miss anything? Oh, Sammy! I'm glad. I'm glad that you feel that way. That's my goal to make everyone feel welcome here in the tavern. So thank you for saying that, and I'm glad that you feel that way. I don't think I've ever seen duo wielding two maces, but it sounds beautifully destructive. It does. Beautifully destructive is a very cool phrase. Agreed. Ah, oh, the fighter kits and multi-classes are limited. That makes sense. It's how I try to live my video game life. <laughs> yes, I love finding things on my own. Yeah, I'm not going to get everything on this playthrough, y'all. So if, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stumble across a lot of things. Yeah, you only get one first time. Hi, Kyle Reg. How are you doing? Welcome to the tavern. Yeah, I'm excited to do like a 100% playthrough at some point and like, you know, try all the different builds. But yeah, for my first time, I'm just like going through as if like we're in the early 2000s and I don't have any access to any, <laughs> any guides or anything. It's like a pure just playing the game. There's still bugs in the EE. They just patched it recently, right? But I don't know if that fixed anything. I haven't I haven't found any bugs yet, I don't think.
please no backseating. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Andrew, but yeah, please. I don't want to know anything. I don't think there's any like supposed to, you know, I feel like, you know, anyone can play these games however they want to. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just going to play how, whatever it feels like. Um, but yes, I love that dual wielding maces is good for Minsk. But yeah, I don't want to know because I might just do something totally wild and different. And I don't want to know that it's different just because, yeah, I want to, I want to just figure it out myself. But thank you for the enthusiasm. Um, yes. Um, upon, yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Phil, for the cacao. Please know suggestions are backseating. You will get warned and then you will be at risk of being banned if this behavior continues, friends. I, I really want to be friendly and inclusive about it. But um, yeah, if this behavior continues, um, unfortunately, you know, we're doing our best to just keep it, um, keep it lighthearted and friendly here. That's how we are at the tavern. But yeah, we do have rules, and please, please respect them. I appreciate you all. <laughs> You're not 100 percent this game. I've never played. <laughs> I wish it were my first time too. Yeah, it's fun. I love playing games. I, I usually when I play through games for the first time, I look up all of the quests and like use the guides because I'm afraid to do something wrong. And I feel like yeah. It's been really cool experiencing first time playthroughs um, without that. And it's a good it's a good challenge for me because I'm definitely a type of person who likes to plan and like do things the right way. But yeah, doing this with all of you in the tavern, like doing first time playthroughs has, I don't know, I feel like I've gotten better at just like rolling with the punches and like not worrying about things being perfect, which is good for me. It's good, character growth, here's to that. <laughs> He's a good warrior, I agree. I want to play Fallout 1 and 2, but my brain keeps saying that I'm playing wrong. Totally. I feel you. But you know what? The games are here for, for us to have fun with. That's the whole point. So play it the way you want to, Tabby. Ooh, pages need updating on the wiki. Heck yeah. I love that. Okay, let's find this boy's toy. What was that again? Um, can we go back to chapter two? Hello? I guess not. Without hesitation. Yes, this will not take long. Declare yourself. Beat it. I ain't here to chat up the customers. If you want something, go speak to Lethanan. Okay. Lethanan? But what was the name of the, the person? We had the bear. Ah, chapter two. Oh, that's how we do it. Ah, there's their arrows. <laughs> oof. Oof. Okay, put the spirit of the child Wellen to rest. I encountered the restless spirit of a small boy Wellen in the graveyard and agreed to return his stuffed bear to him so that he might be at peace according to the spirit the bear named Little Man. Da -da -da, is in the possession of the thief who murdered the child. The thief's name is Linus and is in one of the rooms at the Copper Coronet. Okay. Let us into the rooms. Let us in. Declare yourself. If you want something, go speak to Lethanan. Okay, we need to find this Lethanan person. I think that's Yoshimo, huh? Yeah. Lethanan, where are you? Gerald. Tavern drunk, it's me! Tavern patron. Oh, that's a lot of you. Oh, there. Let oh, Lethanan. You are back, I see. Hi. Um Yes, let me see what service- wait, can you let me into the rooms? I didn't catch your name the first time. I'm Amira. Hmm, well, yes, I'm Letnan, proprietor of the Copper Coronet, if you will. Hmm, welcome. I'm looking to dispense- or dispose of some coin. Any ideas on how to spend it? Coin is always welcome. You will find the Copper Coronet able to fulfill your needs, whether drink, rest, or other sorts of entertainment. 
Other sorts of entertainment? What are you talking about? Oh, one is always able to provide entertainment. Oh my gosh. Are we in a brothel? What? The blooming rose. <laughs> Let me see your face. Oh! You are the one from my dreams. You did Phasmo <gasps> on a non-weekend day? Sad chance. Ogre! I announced it! <laughs> you said to do it whenever! <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I did an extra stream just for you! <laughs> I'm so sorry you weren't able to be there! Thank you so much for the seven months as a tavern patron. Oh my goodness! Wow! How are you doing? Wait, you didn't make it to the Phasmo stream? <laughs> That's so sad! Well... You did say to do it any time. Which is what I did! I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Hi, Chronic! How are you? It's so good to see ya. I'm doing great. How are you? There's no way to cheat or play wrong in a single player game. Totally! You're stuck at a boss and end up looking for guides on how to beat him. Tried everything they said and still failed. Oh my gosh! Let it on. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh yeah, you were there! Okay! I felt so bad. I was like, no! Okay. You. You jokester. <laughs> Hello, Selene. Is it Selene or Selene? Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the tavern. Hello, Co Diggles. Welcome to the tavern. How are you? Okay. Um, we just found out that this is a, uh, secret brothel, so. <sighs> we need to get to the back rooms, so we- I'm guessing that's what's the, what the bouncer is guarding, y'all. Where we need to go! Hmm. I've never had anything against gambling. What do you know about that? Very well. You look like one who might appreciate such entertainments. There's more to my little place than meets the eye. Go over to the fellow by the door on the far wall and tell him I said to let you in. Talk to Frankie or perhaps Madame Nin if you wish to partake and enjoy. A thoroughly despicable man and an equally despicable place. This is the sort of thing that comes naturally with civilization, it seems. Classic Jahira. Okay, we've been given permission to enter the back rooms. We're in! We're in, y'all. I love this. Let the gambling begin. <laughs> is this game any good? Yes! It is so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can romance everyone. <laughs> I wish. Hello, Havoc. How are you doing? There's a friendly ladies, too. <laughs> Hello, Alan. Baldur's Gate is a seminal game, and BG2 even better. I've heard such good things about this game, and I, I must say, it has not disappointed me yet. It has been super, super fun. Your leader, your herald, your inquisitor! Overwhelming! Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Tabby! Oh my goodness! That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You're doing well just browsing Twitch for new streams. Well, welcome. You haven't played it in over 10 years. Well, welcome. This is my first time playing it and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Well, I'm glad you stumbled upon the tavern. Welcome in. The feeling when you well, live in civilization. Well. What have we here? <laughs> True. True. Oh, Codiggles, welcome to being a tavern member officially. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Pris and Rumar. Okay, these are not the people we're looking for. We're looking for a man with a teddy bear. 
No. <gasps> Sleeping dwarf. I thought I thought that was a dead person. <gasps> this is the one. I need a sweet or some strong to warm and hail. Classic. Ah, oh, you pardons. I thought you were that bloody ghost again. Aha, we found him. Your name wouldn't be Linus, would it? Well, yes it is. How did you know that? I've been sent by the ghost of the little boy you murdered to retrieve a stuffed bear. Hand it over now. <laughs> you're you're here to retrieve his his bear? I uh I think I have it around here somewhere. Um, let's take a look. Um, yes, here it is. I can hold no more. That item has been dropped. Classic, Amira. Give that to the bloody bastard and tell him to stay away from me. <sighs> Nobody <laughs> tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> you have so many relationships in this life. Only one or two <laughs> will last. You go through all the pain and strife. Oh, then no! you turn your back and they're gone so fast. Oh yeah, and they're gone so fast. Yeah, oh. So hold on the ones who really care in the end, they'll be the only ones there. And when you get old and start losing your hair, can you tell me who will still care? Can you tell me who will still care? Okay, hmm, Bob. I can. Badu ba dop, badu bop. Badu I will still care. Badu ba dop, badu. Oh. <laughs> I love the oh at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you for the bits, for that cheer. You're amazing. Oh. Badu, oh, <laughs> so good. A society, oh no. Yes, Animan, I was coming to save you. I just had to find a man with a teddy bear first. Lin is about to be Lin was. That's what I was thinking, Foe. I was thinking. You don't deserve to live, you murdering fiend. You can try to kill me, fool. This is from my boy Wellen! Take that! You know what? We're just gonna go for some chaos. Chaos! I can hold no more. That item has been dropped. Who else can hold something here, please? Do we have the teddy bear? Oh my gosh! Little man, the stuffed bear. Aww. This is a simple stuffed children's bear. It depicts the mischievous little man from Halfling Legend. Oh, I feel so bad for this poor child who was brutally murdered. We gotta make this world better. Yes? Okay, we outie. Certainly. Come along. As curious as I am about the companionship. That'll wait for later. We have a quest! Many quests! <laughs> so many side quests. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, off we go. Back to the graveyard. To our little ghost friend. Hi, Lisbew! How are you doing? Yes, we're feeling Elfie tonight. Little Nanny, he's just a little fella. I know. The teddy bear's face is a little bit creepy. I agree. Okay, graveyard. What is it? I wanna dance in the graveyards, the graveyards. Where was our little ghost boy? Quickly he was over precise. here. I think he was over here. Hi, Flare Star! How are you? Welcome, welcome into the tavern, my friend. Cheers! Elf ear Saturdays, I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Me too. Yes, this is the enhanced edition, Ellen. Indeed. I could, I sadly could not find the original um, BG2. We played the original um, BG1, but yeah, the B they don't sell them anymore. I, I happen to have the original first game in my GOG library, but I did not have the second one, so sad times. Where's our little ghost friend? This is, okay, this is where that 
person was buried alive. Maybe I was wrong. Hello? Drunken cleric of help Talos. Me, help me, please. What's the problem? It's Uncle Lester. He's risen from his grave. He scared everyone away who was at the funeral, and now he's come after me. Uncle Lester! Oh! I put up with that cheap bastard all my life! You know what he left me in his will? A sweater! Now even in his death, the damnable fiend still torments me! Okay. Oh, there's Lester! He's- he's alive! Uncle Lester, is that you? <laughs> Uncle Lester! Oh my gosh, this is so cheap funny. Sweater. I'll have you know that belonged to your grandfather, you ungrateful git! What? Okay, Uncle Lester is from the south of America and his nephew was, like, British? I'm very confused. What is going on? Ah! It's him! Call me a fiend, will you? Well, I've never seen such a cheap funeral in my life! I <laughs> sold my clothes and kept the casket closed! You picked the flowers this morning from near the swamp. Oh, this is amazing. And you gave a drunken priest of Talos a few coppers to slur some lines of profanity to pass for a eulogy. The outrage, the sheer outrage. Gah, how could I afford anything, old fool? You left all your money to that Kalashite whore. You're lucky I didn't just dump you in the river. Ah! The indignity! The insufferable indignity! You miserable wretch of a nephew! <laughs> Get back to the grave, you worm-ridden devil! Okay, now he's southern too. I don't know what's going on with the accents. Only you would rise from the dead to torment me! Oh, I'll go back, all right, but not before I kill you, you disgusting piece of filth! <laughs> Prepare to die, Nevin! He save me! Save me! <laughs> What is even happening anymore in this game? <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, it is so silly. <gasps> Serenade Tegan! Oh, Tegan, my beautiful teapot. How are you doing tonight? Well, you look very good to me. I love you very much. Mwah! Okay, I've serenaded Teak in the teapot. It happened. Amira walks around with five heavily armed adventures. <laughs> ha! I'd like to see you try to kill me. Exactly. I ate too much, but I'm sober. Oh my gosh. What did you eat, Flare Star? Was it yummy? Kids won their soccer games and I kicked the cold to the curb. Yay! <gasps> well done, Lispew. I'm proud of you. Ooh, and you sat in the sun. Amazing. Tegan. Talos Cleric. What is this? Skyrim? That's what I was thinking! This guy sounds like he belongs in 1800s England. And then, yeah, Uncle Lester. And then he's like, <laughs> yeah! What is happening? <laughs> Overwhelming, exactly. Oh no! Oh, sing mode has been redeemed, but I don't have my timer on me. I'll just set a timer on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, two minute timer coming right up. Alan, oh Alan, the stress must be causing him to slip back into his childhood accent. Exactly. The whole thing should have redeemed it for that whole thing. What's going on here? Can we intervene? No, we're just going to watch it unfold. Uncle Lester, what are you doing? Oh, Uncle Lester is going for it. There, stupid git, didn't deserve more than a sweater and a kick in the rump anyway. Humph! Now, I wonder where my Kalashite darling went off to. Always time for one last quickie. B goodbye! <laughs> Uncle Lester, what a legend! <laughs> what is it? 
without hesitation. <gasps> I wonder what he has on his body to loot. Probably something good like a sweater or just one gold piece for us. Sad, sad times. This will not take long. Oh, that Uncle Lester. He was such a fool. He gave a sweater to his poor nephew. What? Who are you? Where is our little ghost boy friend? Well, he's a ghost boy, but not our boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? You really do know what I mean. He's just a little boy. Where is he? Where is he? The ghost boy of the graveyard. Oh, he's probably by the graves. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mourner and mourner. Oh, and we're at time. Okay, thanks for redeeming sing mode and serenading Tegan. That was very fun, Ogre. Tegan is a babe, I agree. I mean, agreed. I bet hot tea can be used as a gun of sorts and DAO Tegan was definitely hot. Oh, you know it. <laughs> did the sun just come up? It did. Perfect timing for the yes, dramatic fight be between Uncle Lester and his uh, grumbling nephew. Yeah, it got lighter. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed sing mode with the accent. I found that quite fun too. Okay, a lot is happening. Where's our little ghost friend? It's like he's just disappeared. Maybe he only comes out at a certain time. Well. I definitely did need that. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy to oblige. I'm glad I brought you joy. I've lost all sense of self-consciousness. <laughs> I walked past him, Ona! Oh no! Come back! Speaking of my father has left me plenty of time to think. Perhaps too much. It is as if an ill wind has blown across my soul. An ill wind? <laughs> oh my gosh, Anaman. Why? What are you thinking of? I speak of memories that are best put aside, Amira, lest they fester at my heart. I find sometimes, however, that I cannot. I remember when I first achieved the rank of squire. It had been a difficult task. My father had refused to be my patron, so I was no better off than a commoner would be. Most knights would not take me in since I have no, had no coin to pay for my equipment. I had to prove myself. A knight by the name of Sir Blethin took pity on me and had me squired. I was proud during the ceremony and happy, but it was not to last. My father, Lord Cor, stumbled into the Order's headquarters. He was filthy drunk and full of rage. He began shouting at the knights, at Sir Ryan Troll, no less, that I had been stolen from him, that I was a worthless and weak son who should not be in the Order. Sir Ryan Troll told him that I had proven myself, but the old bastard would hear none of it. We were finally forced to drag him out of the headquarters, kicking and screaming. Leave it to Lord Cor to stain the one moment of pure pleasure that I was able to steal during my time in the Order. The one thing I'd achieved despite all of his opposition. Bah! Humbug! <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna be a, a friend. Just cry on our shoulder a little bit. Like, he's, he's, he's cute. He's annoying. Very annoying, but like, you know, he's a little bit of a hunk. Amira's like, you know, you can cry my shoulder, boo, but I'm just not gonna take you seriously. <sighs> you should not let your father eat away at you like this, Anamin. Honey. It is difficult, my lady. Since the death of my mother, my father has been a cancer in my soul, a force against which I've struggled for many years to prove myself. Ah, oh, but listen to me. What a pathetic knight I must seem, blubbering like a boy to you over such a thing as my father's disapproval. You must think of me a fool, my lady. A little bit. But I can't fault him for having a hard past. I fault him for just being a bit full of himself and annoying. 
How could she resist? <laughs> totally falling for it. She does love, this is like probably her first, well, I'm wondering like if she ever had any romance in her past. I haven't decided that. I feel like she probably did have some like flings with like, you know, cute people back at Candlekeep. Probably men and women. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I think of Amira as still like really young and like innocent in some ways in terms of romance. I feel like she's like, yeah, I feel like I, I think of her as like not have not ever having like had romance, I guess, in her life. Oh, those monks. <laughs> they were fighters too, like the guards people and like other like people who came through, like traveling scholars and stuff. She's on those hot professors. You know we love hot professors here at Bioware Romance Society. <laughs> Amira clearly has the hots for him. I know. It's so hard playing a character who's like different from me. I find it very hard, the like role playing aspect. Not man, hi! He sounds like Zap Brandon. <laughs> Page boys and girls in the library, indeed. The mysterious travelers, yeah. That's why, you know, she had like flings. That's how I kind of imagined her. BG1 didn't have romance. Yeah, no, she, they didn't have romance in BG1, the original edition. I think that in the enhanced, they might have romances. Um, but yeah, I just am head cannoning. I'm just like backstory, creating a backstory for myself in my head about her so I could role play her better. I, I, I feel like I don't do very well at fleshing it out entirely in my head, but I try my best to have like little, just like character quirks and things uh, for role playing. You're doing well, Sammy. Oh no, your computer not doing so well. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Sammy, but I love that you're staying positive and productive. That's awesome. Good for you. Cheers to you, Sammy. Hot professors. I do mean you, Thura. Uh, it was trend setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is the yeah, this is the first game with romances that Bioware made, right? Can you believe that Wait, was this 2000 or 2001? But Knights of the Old Republic 1 was made like either 2 or 3 years after this game. It was like the immediate successor to this game for Bioware. Mind blowing. Also, what else? Oh my gosh, you clipped Sing Man with Southern accent! <laughs> I love it. It was quite the jump. Yeah, Lego. Having a positive outlook it couldn't be me. <laughs> yes, totally, Bula. Yeah, it helps me a lot. Okay, Hanuman. Hanuman. I don't think you're a fool. You have a past and you have feelings. Like, we have lots of feelings about Garayan and, like, you know, our past looming over us and, like, our parentage. <laughs> I don't- I think it's also funny that, I mean, everyone's experience is valid, but we could complain about daddy issues <laughs> all day. You know who our dad is? Do you, Adamen? Yeah, he's- he's ball. The freaking god of murder. Yeah. That. It's a little tough, but I I feel you on the dad issues, Anovan. I think you should harden yourself. What? Don't be ridiculous. You've overcome any obstacles. Oh wait, is this like a Oh, I wonder if this is kind of like in in, in not Inquisition, but in Dragon Age, how you can like harden or soften characters. This could be a pivotal moment. No, I don't think you a fool, Anamin. You are kind to say so, my lady. Thank you. Okay. What is it? It will be. We done. walked past our ghost friend, Boo Boo. Wylan? No, not Wylan. Willen? Willen. Willen. Okay, these are. This is not Willen. These are mourners. Okay. Oh, Wylan. Well, oh, Wellin. That was it. Well in. Wellin. Where are you? Oh, Wellin. 
Oh, because it's daytime? Dang it! Okay. Darn. Hexat's request. Okay, let's do Hexat's quest. We need to go to the Tomb of Dragomir. Southeast part of the graveyard. Perfect. Southeast. Lower tombs. Or is it this one, specifically? Let's try it out. Feelings, what are those? <laughs> when you're done, we could tell you the base game romance options for men and women. This oh yeah, that would be great. The tomb of Dragomir. We made it! Damn you, Edaman. <laughs> Father Sword definitely has a lot of setting up, so it'd be cool if you're... How you're talking with them changes the outcome. That would be cool. I agree, Bula. I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be a side quest too. It's gotta be a companion quest. <laughs> Raptor, yeah, I, I'm sure that's what they mean. Hello, Uncle Robber. Welcome into the tavern. How are ya? <gasps> you saw a lizard! Oh my gosh! Okay, that is... Please tell us how that goes, Bo, when you return. I want to know hear all about the lizard. You love this game! You've come to the right place. Welcome to the tavern. And hello, Grand Moff! How are you doing? Welcome into the tavern. Yes! We... Okay, so we have played... We played the first... Like, vanilla 98 original Baldur's Gate 1, not the Enhanced Edition. We did not play Siege of Dragonspear, and we went straight into Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. So it was kind of like a little bit of a, a weird transition, because I, I currently don't own Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition, which I need to purchase so I can play that, the Enhanced Edition, plus Siege of Dragonspear at some point. I'm going to do that on my own time. Uh, but yeah, we're moving straight in, straight along into Baldur's Gate 2, and I've never played. This is my spoiler-free first playthrough. Welcome in! Lizards! Ooh, enjoy, Lispew, enjoy! Code Diggles. I do not know if I'm going to play those yet on stream. Um, they're definitely on my list. I have my eye on them. <laughs> oh, Uncle Robert, thank you. Yes, this is the same character. I recreated her in Baldur's Gate 2 um, because I couldn't transfer the save file over from the original to the enhanced edition. Um, but I created her exactly the same as she was when we finished Baldur's Gate 1. So there you go. She is an elf fighter um, and her name is Amira and we love her. She's our baby. Ooh, trying to get a skeleton polymorph. Nice. <gasps> Enjoy. I don't know what that is either, but it sounds really cool. Do you have a way in? I did it. Before. You did? When? I... I don't remember. Hmm. Perhaps something inside will jar your memory. <gasps> Cutscene? <laughs> what? You shiver as a sinister presence watches, washes over you. You must enter the tomb. You must enter the tomb. What even is that? A thief? I can't even see what that is. Oh, thief. Huh. Uh-oh. Hexad, what have you gotten us into? We're going in! Certainly. I must enter. We'll go together. I don't know why I'm trusting this person, but I want to help her. She seems in a bad way. Without doubt. An alluvion? Oh my gosh, what is happening? <gasps> oh! Cutscene! I love that! 
It reminds me of the whoa. The treasure is still here. Y'all, we're like so good at tombs now since we were going through all those Sith tombs in KOTOR last night. We've got this. <laughs> Oh, it was Black Isle. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've just heard good things about it. Yes! We were talking about Planescape Torment. Just a fancy word that means you do a cool trick and turn into a skeleton to impress other players. I love that. I love that so much. Also Black Isle. Got it. Got it. Okay. We're definitely going to have to look into those games. I have so many games up next on our, our deck here for the tavern, but I would love to play those at some point. Thank you for the recommendations. The screech though, I know, that was terrifying. <sighs> Heck that is, yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to get that idea. She's fun, yeah, she seems cool. Tomb Raider time! We're just getting back into our element. We're so good at tombs. You're gonna do another tomb in Swotor, nice. I'm starting to think it's DA4. <laughs> this isn't going to be some metaphorical treasure, is it? The last thing I need is to learn an important truth about myself. Okay, Amira's got a little sassy side. She's getting some purple hawk in there with her, you know, angelic diplomatic side. The tomb must be opened. You must enter the tomb. Uh, aren't we already in the tomb? Free us. <gasps> Aster! Welcome. How are you? What are we doing? We're tomb raiding again! You caught me! Awake the sleeper. It's all right, boo. They're dead, but I'm sure they're not bad. <laughs> oh no! Okay, they're bad. They're bad. They're really bad. Yes? Uh oh, Aerie. My girl. Okay, we're opening the tomb. Chill. They really want us to open that tomb. There is a small slot within the wall that a cylinder of some sort could fit into. You don't say. With vengeance! Okay, is that where we came in? You were right, Boo! They weren't nice at all! Oh my gosh! Minsk is the best! Okay, we need to put a cylinder in here. Okay, let's find a cylinder. Hello, any cylinders in here? Anyone? Does anyone have a cylinder? No? Okay. Oh, good job. Yes, if it's required. Speak. She seems so lively. If that is what you want. Yes? I can't help but like Without her, hesitation. though. I don't know. She's mysterious. She's got that mystique. More tombs, indeed. Tomb Raider looks hella different than I'm used to. <laughs> Go for the eyes, boo! Yes, Minsk and boo forever. Agreed. I love them. Oh my gosh, we can turn the tomb. Oh no! You must enter the tomb. Um, I'm sorry. I've got a strict one tomb break in a day policy. What? Why? It's the only way to get to. Treasure. She seems like she's been like brainwashed or something. The treasure's in there? The way to it lies within. Be careful. Wait, what? Go into the dark and spooky tomb, but make sure to be careful. Kind of sending mixed messages there. I shall investigate this tomb. This feels like different. This feels like enhanced edition stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I'm right or not, don't tell me, but this feels like enhanced. The way that the dialogue is written feels different than, like, the rest of the dialogue we've had so far. It's much more, like, Dragon Age-y. Like, the kind of, um, the three different options in the wheel. Like, it feels like that, like, 
like very serious diplomatic, like kind of sassy joking, and then like more like mean or like direct. I'm getting that vibe. We're gonna go with number two. Okay, Hex said it wants me to go into the tomb. It's a foreboding, foreboding place, but if I'm to solve the mystery, I must go in. Okay. My head hurts. <gasps> a skull. Ooh, fancy necklaces too. Hex, you're really dragging down the vibe. <laughs> Not mad. Spelljammer, no. Not any of their wacky NPC companions. We've met a few. But yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me any names. We, so who have we met? We, we have the ones, obviously, that we have here. We got Yoshimo. We met Cora... Cora I almost said Coraban. Cora... Cora the, the, the grumpy dwarf guy who's in the copper coronet. And we met Nalia and did that quest. Um, those are the only ones we've met so far. Nothing bad happens in tombs, no. <laughs> I don't think I do is a great answer to. <laughs> Turnip Boy is definitely a polarizing figure. Oh, I don't know who that is. <gasps> Welcome back, Tink! Welcome. Corgan, yes. A Scottish joker. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, we're gonna save. Big save. Tomb raiding. A day in the life. What is it? This will not take long. The top of the ancient stone tomb slides away in an unnaturally easy fashion. Within, you can see only darkness and feel only a cold rush of air from within. Climb into the tomb! Yes! That's how we do it. Wait, what? I'm confused. Ah, it is good to adventure at such a place. Direct the me as you will. Every monster has his death. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Oh, we can only do one at a time. Oh, it's a one at a time kind of thing. The sword and <sighs> Very well. Go, Anaman. Yes. Go Jahira, go Jahira. That sound effect is cool. Hmm? Oh, that wasn't, oh. Oh, I got Jahira and Aerie confused. Go Aerie, right. go Aerie. Okay, and now Hexat can't go in? Let's try, let's try. It's cloudy, but I will try. Okay, so she can't go in. Okay, yeah, we're going in for you. Here's two. It's all so hazy. Yeah, something has been done to her. I'm Burrich. If it must be done. Who are you? Oh no, we did we set up a trap because we don't have a thief with us. On your guard, elf. I've been on my guard ever since I arrived in this god's forsaken place. Who the hell are you? Okay, no, that's a little out of character for Amira. She's not that sassy all the time. I have no wish to fight you. You stand before Burrick, the unyielding. I am Amira. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Burrick. <laughs> Spare me the pleasantries, elf. Prepare for battle. I love the, sa the sassy, funny answers. That's what I gravitate towards. But that's not as Amira. She, she, does, she does that occasionally. I have no wish to fight you, Burrick. Then you've got a problem, for my orders are clear. Who gave you the orders? I... I don't recall. It's all a little foggy. Then how can you be sure you remember them accurately? In truth, I cannot. I know only that this is what I've always done. And is it what you want to do? It's been a while since I crushed an interloper's skull. But why are you crushing the skulls? Because you want to, or because you believe it is your duty? I am a knight of Dragomir. I was posted here to ensure he did not rise well, again. Well, well. 
What have we here? Welcome to the tavern, new tavern member. Cheers. Feel free to lurk or chat, whatever you're comfortable with. Thank you for the follow. Spelljammer was a setting for second edition paper D&D. &D. Oh, that's where the giant space hamster comes from. What? That's so cool. The tombs brings out the sassy. Yeah, we haven't had these sassy options before, which is why I'm feeling like this is EE -E content. But don't tell me if it is or not. I don't want to know. Welcome, N3H55. How are you doing? Welcome into the tavern. Have you succeeded? Actually, I'm not so sure I have. It's so hard to remember, but I... I think there was a woman who came here many years ago. Aha! It must be Hexat. Do you know her? No. What happened? She said that she could slay Dragomir. If he were to die a final death, I would finally be able to leave this place. And did she give him a final death? No, she awoke him and was embraced. Oh, shoot! By embrace, you mean... She was turned into an undead creature like Dragomir and left to slumber in his place? Um... Where is Dragomir, then? The tomb is heavily warded. He roams its passages but cannot leave. And neither can I, not until he dies one final time. I see that we have a quest now. I'm afraid that after all this dialogue, the trap that we sprung is going to kill us. Because <laughs> we sprung a trap right before this dialogue. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know how, but I am. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you are. Welcome to the tavern. I'm doing well. I'm really enjoying this game. We. This is my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 2. And yeah, it's just been such a lovely ride. Immortality's on the table. Oh. Uh ho. -oh. Blizzard got away, couldn't capture it to put it outside. Oh! A running theme this weekend. Indeed, we are in a tomb. What was that line from Lord of the Rings? This isn't a mine. It's a tomb. I think that was a Boromir line, huh? Huh. I can help you with that if you help me. I can give you a key to open the inner tomb, but know this. Dragomir is far too dangerous to risk freeing. Use the key and there will be no escaping this place. Not until Dragomir finally falls. So a hard save then. Fair enough. This rod fits an opening near the tomb's entrance. Insert it there and the path to Dragomir's chamber will open. Hey, we found our cylinder. And we sprung the trap and we survived. Yay. Okay, I guess we didn't all need to go through here. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, time for everybody to go through the tomb again. Oh no! No, there was a trap there! No! This is so chaos! Chaos! the tomb's entrance. It should fit. Use it quickly. Okay! Stay calm, everybody! I'm on the job! Vince! Hang in there, buddy! Anoman, heal! Heal me! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh my gosh. What the heck? Why is he attacking us? I'm so confused. Oh my goodness. Disaster. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, I am tense. Bacho, 
Oh, I should've just dispelled. What am I doing? Oh, yo, yo! I'm not prepared for this battle! Give us a heal! Oh wait, it didn't work? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Ah! No! Okay, 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 okay. Calm, calm! No, we don't have Dispel. I think Anoman has Dispel. No one has a Dispel spell! We might have to reload this. How are they being held for so long? Oh my gosh! second death. Save versus death? <gasps> what? How do we kill them? Sanctuary? No. Speak your mind. This is not good. <gasps> Ooh, poison. Yeah, try poison. Let's see what that is. Oh! Oh, we're done! It's over! Game over! Start over! <laughs> oh. Oh, it's time to reload, looks like we got too bold. When things go south, just to reload. <gasps> what did I- wait, is Bink here? Bink, how are you doing? Welcome! People are dying, traps are going off, Minsk is laughing, business as usual, I see! Indeed! Yes. That is what's happening. Load! Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send everyone back. I punch. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. <gasps> what do you- Oh my gosh. It's so- Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna send everyone back through. And then we're just gonna have Amira do the dialogue. And then it won't be as chaotic. We'll be fine. What can I do? Faster than Go, Ari. Okay, Amira. What is it? Speak. It will be done. There's a trap here somewhere. On your guard, elf! I'm always on my guard. Who are you? You stand before Burek the Unyielding. I am Amira. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Burek. Spare me the pleasantries, elf. Prepare for battle. I have no wish to fight you, Burek. Then you've got a problem. My orders are clear. Who gave you the orders? I don't recall. It's all a little foggy. Then how can you be sure you remember them accurately? In truth, I cannot. It's pro time! <laughs> how did you like the intro sequence in the first dungeon? It was so good, Uncle Robber! I loved it. I thought it was it was a great hook into the story and it really made me care because they took Imowen from me! You don't do that. I love her. My BFF, even though she's annoying. We grew up together, you know? In truth, I cannot. 
I know only that this is what I've always done. And is it what you want to do? It has been a while since I crushed an interloper's skull. But why are you crushing the skulls? Because you want to or because you believe it is your duty? I am a knight of Dragomir. I was posted here to ensure he did not rise again. Have you succeeded? Actually, I'm not so sure I have. It's so hard to remember, but I... I think there was a woman who came here many years ago. What happened? She said that she could slay Dragomir. If he were to die a final death, I would finally be able to leave this place. And did she give him a final death? Well, well. What have we here? Welcome, new tavern member. Cheers to you. Feel free to lurk or chat, but whatever you're most comfortable with. Thank you for the follow and make yourself at home in the tavern. Yeah, Imowen's so loyal. I just love her. You don't take her away from me. No, she awoke him and was embraced. By embraced, you mean? She was turned into an undead creature like Dragomir and left to slumber in this place. So Dragomir is free? Thankfully, no. The tomb is heavily warded. He roams its passages, but cannot leave. And neither can I, not until he dies one final time. Hmm. I can help you with that, if you help me. I can give you a key to open the inner tomb, but know this. Dragomir is far too dangerous to risk freeing. Use the key, and there will be no escaping this place. Not until Dragomir finally falls. Hmm. Fair enough. This rod fits an opening near the tomb's entrance. Insert it there, and the path to Dragomir's chamber will open. Okay. Another save. So we don't have to do that dialogue again. <laughs> okay, climb into the tomb. Here we go, friends. Here we go. We've got this. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. I shall go forth at your command. <laughs> Good, Anaman. I'm glad that you will. Right then. I await your need. Ooh, we should summon a woodland being. As you wish. Yes. What is it? All right, Shadow Fiend, you're going down. Rod is a key. There is an opening near the tomb's entrance. It should fit. Use it quickly. Talking to us mid-battle? Rude. Oh. Immune to my damage? What is this? Okay, we gotta try this ice thing. Oh, sorry, Minsk. Minsk, I'm so sorry! Oh, no. Oh, no, help Minsk! Shoot! Minsk! No! <laughs> okay, we might just let him die if we're able to finish this battle. Oh, dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Oh, no! Anno men! Oh my gosh, can you heal any faster? We got him! No. No, this is wrong. The sleeper is near, but not here. Who is the sleeper? The sleeper must awake. Why? The sleeper is valuable beyond price. Okay. Well, Minsk, I'm so sorry. We'll come back for you. 
What did he have in his in his inventory? Can we can we carry it all? Yes, if it's required. It's a lot more exciting. That is the question. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Hmm? No, Apparently Minsk was holding you. a lot of scrolls. It is about time. I am Oops. Willing. Okay, we did it. We did it. I'm gonna save our progress. Minsk down. Minsk down. But we'll revive him. Don't worry. <gasps> Hello, 8 bit Hobbit. How are you doing? Welcome. Sorry, I missed your entrance earlier. That tankard. It. This is hankered. We love him. Yes, he's enormous and. Amazing. Cheers. Hankered the tankard. You need magic weapons to hurt them, I think. Ah, yes. And I think Amira's sword has cold damage, which is very handy. Now who will look after Boo? It's okay. Amira has Boo in her pocket, and we're just like... Minsk's body, we're just like... Amira's got like Boo in one hand, Minsk's body in the other. She's really strong for her size. People always underestimate her, but she's got like 19 strength. <laughs> Thanks, Bo! I missed the Dune reference. I also wouldn't have gotten the Dune reference. If that is what you want. What's in here? Ooh, another skull. Okay, that looks like a cursed scroll. But we're just gonna grab it in case. Speak. This will not take long. Please be detecting traps. Thank you. Yes, if it must be done. Money. Uh-oh. No. Shade wolf. At your order. What is it? My husband does nothing. By the dread wolf. Ooh, a dagger. Looks fancy, too. Looks like there's an inner chamber. But how do we enter? Okay, I guess not. Let's go back, put the cylinder in, and take down this Dragomir person. But first, I think we need to rest. I think we need to replenish our spells. Okay. Did we do it? Okay, we rested for eight hours. Perfect. And I'll do... Let's see. Into the third tomb in the tomb? I don't know. Oh, it didn't let me do it. Into another tomb. <laughs> Doesn't like the question mark. <laughs> Hi, Nordic Wolf! How are you? <gasps> this rod fits an opening near the tomb's entrance. Insert it there and the path to Dragomir's chamber will open. Oh my gosh. You heard Meryl? You, you get me, foe. Get me. By the dread wolf, why is my house always dirty when I have guests over? <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you, Nordic Wolf? Good to see ya. Oh yes, her character portrait is custom and the voice is not custom. And it's so funny, like literally like a week after we I like created the character and we started streaming this game, they introduced a patch that has new voices. I wonder, oh you know what? Can we change it? Wait. Wait, look, we can change the voices! This is the new patch. Hang on. Ha! Death comes for you. <laughs> Have at you. I think someone more expendable should be the leader. Oh my gosh. Batter them into bloody rubbish. <gasps> I love these. Ah! Taking the lead. All right. <laughs> Dan. Ah! Yes. 
Okay, first things first, we need a cat. We need a cat? Wait, what? I love this person. I will lead us to victory. Please, I need to rest. Oh, that sounds more like Amira than her current voice, actually. <laughs> it's a little lower, though. I imagine Amira is more as like a, a little bit of a higher voice. Take them down! Take him down, Legolas! But currently ours is... Okay, not that one. <laughs> Not so tough. You will fall by my This hand. is this is one we have now. Of course. I'm, I'm the, the best, best choice. Ha! I will lead us to victory. Please. I need to rest. I kind of like this one better though. I think we're going to go with Sarah. Oh my gosh. We changed her voice. Tell me. Whatever you need. That's more Amira. Yeah, that's definitely more Amira. We do need a cat. I know. I love that. I heard you like tomb. So I put a tomb in the tomb in your tomb. So when you go into a tomb, you go to the tomb in the tomb. <laughs> oh, tombception. Oh, that's good. I should have named it tombception. You're doing well. Yay, Nordic Wolf. I'm glad to hear that. Happy Saturday. I feel like Elise and Anders would get along quite well. I'm a sucker for cat. Hello, cat dad. On brand. How are you doing? Then you would love our girlfriend in KOTOR, Juhani. Yeah, she's Cathar. Maybe your voice is lower because you took up smoking in all of the stress of being the child of Ball, you mm -hmm. know. It does things. It like, does things to us. Okay, let's re-equip some stuff here. Can she use a bow? Can you use a bow? Short bow. She doesn't have one. That's great. Does anyone have a short bow? Anyone? No? Well, no. well. What have we here? Welcome new tavern member, cheers! Welcome in, make yourself at home. Feel free to lurk or chat. Welcome in, and thank you for the follow. Oh, here's some more bullets for Eri. No, I can't carry any more. Oh, I'm sorry I dropped something. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. My sweet, sweet flower. Oh, I just love her. <laughs> She's so cute. What was I going to give her? I can't even remember. More bullets! Okay. Jahira is all good. Yeah, we don't have a short bow, unfortunately, for Hexat. Dang. And we don't have anything else for her to throw at the moment. Okay, Hexat, you're just going to use your knife for now and be very careful. Okay, okay. Yes. Not a problem. Here we go. You push the iron rod into the opening and it is swallowed entirely. Shortly afterwards, a distant click can be heard. You have been sealed in, but somehow you know a way forward has opened. Oh. <sighs> I gave your vocal lessons to even busy. Oh, <laughs> you know me. Sarah was never an agreeable girl. What the law, chaotic and law neutral, etc. affect? Oh, I don't know what they... They might affect certain items. I think it? certain items can only be used by certain... Do you need something? Tell me. Um, like, alignments, maybe? But it might go deeper than that. Um, Whatever you need. I use it mostly for, like, role-playing stuff to know, like, where my character lands on the spectrum of alignments. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that there are more veteran players that could answer that, probably. Uh, but please keep your answers spoiler-free. Bias, yes. It affects the classes you can have. Oh, yes. Good call. That's it. That's 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 true. It's a good question, Nordic Wolf. Consider it done. Consider it done. Yeah, I would just put Amira's register just slightly higher. Oh, is there a door back here? Secret tomb. 
Secret tomb! No? No? Okay. Where in the world is Dragomir? Dragomir sounds like a kind of a cute name. Like, here, Dragomir! Come on, you know you want a treat! You know? I feel like he's gonna be a really cute, fluffy puppy. Right? Oh, is this a door? Oh my gosh! Okay. It's getting real. I'm very nervous. <gasps> what was that? What was that? Power word stun? Anamen, you, you sprung a trap? Of course it was Anamen. Gosh, my head hurts. Hmm? As you wish. Yeah, be careful, please. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to quick save again. I'm quick saving all the time. Uh-oh, antidote! That's a good hint that we're gonna get poisoned by this giant dragon thing. <gasps> Secret door! Secret door! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Your blood is rather inviting. What is this I see before me? Are you real, woman? Or does my mind play tricks upon me? I am Amira. I assure you that I am real. Why have you come to my tomb, Amira? I'm here helping a friend. Hexat, how many more fools will you sacrifice before you realize you will never escape this place? Never is a long time, Dragomir. What? Da -da -da -da! Ooh, she can set a trap. Okay, I don't think that'll help us in this situation. <laughs> Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Okay, what are we gonna do to him? Rigid thinking. What is it now? Let's do hold person. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I like her new voice. Hexat, can you backstab, please? Does that work? Oh, there's someone over here! Anuman! No! Oh, and he's the only one who has Dispel! Shoot. Wait, no, she should have Dispel, too. Did I not give her dispel? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. This is so annoying. No! Oh no, Hexat's dead! <laughs> it's time to reload. I can already feel it. What is it? Easily done. Oh, maybe not. I'll help however I can. I'll do my best. Do you need at once? We lost Hexat. <gasps> ah! Come on. Tell me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, acid didn't work very well, huh? Oh. What else can we do? Oh! I don't have any offensive spells. We could try color spray. Oops. Oops? Who said oops? 
Whatever you need. We did it! But Hexad is dead! I have a feeling we're missing out in some dialogue here. Ooh, a cloak. I'm sorry, I can't carry any more. I'm sorry too. Yes. Woo! We made it out alive, friends. We did it. I shall go forth at your. I can carry no more. You need what something? was given is now yes, upon the ground. Course. What was given is now upon the ground, like my heart. Yes, the roleplay aspects. Totally, yes! I love that too, Nordic Wolf. It's so fun and challenging. I've been trying to quick save in Swotar, so used to press the button. Oh my god, yes. Indeed, red. <laughs> roleplay. Oh, he was highlighted, I see. Yes, totally, Bula. Exactly, with the roleplaying. The charm spells! Hexad is dead, I guess, but you got through it. <laughs> what are you doing here again? We were, we were here to help what Hexad. It? But it's okay, we'll revive her. We'll go to the temple and Very revive well. Minsk and Hexat, And hopefully finish this quest. And figure out what's going on. But it seems like we freed Hexat from the tomb, so that's cool. It looks like we can leave again! Yay! We did the thing! Very committed. I didn't re- Yeah, sometimes- Sometimes I reload when characters died. Other times I'm like, yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll just revive them. <laughs> oh yeah, if, um... Do you need something? I guess hearing her corpse has one way to fear. Exactly, exactly. Literally freeing her. Not physically. Wait, locked? Oh no. Oh. I am ready. We might we might need to have her conscious for this. Can we use Harper's call? Restores a comrade to life. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna memorize Harper's call. And then we're gonna Whatever revive uh Hexat, because I think we can't get out of here without her. Okay. Wait, 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 stop. Oh, she she automatically cast it. Hmm? But she may have been casting it on Minsk. Hang on, hang on. Speak your mind. Here we go. I forgot we could we could we can revive people with a spell now. We don't have to go to the temple anymore. Is dead. Here we go! Here we go! I love this! <laughs> He's been dead a long time now, but this time he will not rise again. We're very close to where we need to be now. We must move forward. Oh, we need to keep moving forward. Oh. Oh yeah, the treasure. Forward is where the treasure lies? The treasure, yes. We are very close now. Okay, let's revive Minsk then. Oh, this is nice. We can revive. Yes. I forgot that we can revive people with a spell now. I'm like. Everyone, stay calm. Oh my we goodness, Amaris! I am for being here. Thanks for bringing your communities over here, my friends. We're gonna go a little longer. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna wrap up soon. Actually. Oh gosh, it's already. Oh, I'm gonna wrap up soon. I might actually save here. Tigan. Tigan. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's Sunday for you too, Amaris. Happy Sunday! <laughs> Hi, Mighty. How are you doing? Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna heal. We're gonna revive Minsk and get ourselves squared away, and then we're going to save and resume next time. Servant awaits. I know y'all just raided, but I need to get off of stream early tonight. I love that we can revive our fallen comrades now. It's so fun. Ooh, coffee. Coffee is good. Aw, happy to be here. Sunday afternoon. It's Sunday past sunrise. Hey! I'm proud of you, Lego. It's past sunrise. 
It's still really early for you, though. <laughs> do you need something? Do you need something? Yes, I do. Okay. We're all rested, healed, and ready to continue our tomb raiding next time. Tomb Raider 4.0. I don't even know what version we're on now. Oh, we can't put a period in there. Tomb Raider V. Probably version 7. I don't know. We've done a lot of tombs. <laughs> okay, my friends. I'm going to put on some tavern music. And just enjoy your presence for a little longer before we go tavern hopping over to somebody else. I'm sorry that we're ending and we just got some raids. I feel so bad. But we'll find another lovely, lovely person to hang out with. 